Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So, another Hogan M series unboxing for you guys. So, this is the EA6B Prowler. And this particular version belongs to the United States Navy. Here is the model number. If you, if you want to buy this particular version, you can just type in the model number on the any website that sells Hogan wings and if they have available. And if they have this model, then it will directly show up. So, here is a bit of a history about the aircraft itself and here they show a detailed diagram on where actually the all the missiles go so this is a pretty nice thing that they do sometimes sometimes they don't but uh, I don't really mind because we can see that the missiles are visible from here so let's unbox it and see what we get and this has a desert camo style look to it so that's pretty nice here comes of the packaging and here is the model itself as you can see it is quite different from your standard aircraft it has a very different design to it so without wasting any time let's take a closer look at it so here is an up close view of the model itself and as i've said before the desert camo style paint job on it it's absolutely beautiful so if we start with the front we can see that we have the air to air refueling fuel port out so this way it can refuel it in mid air without landing and we have the registration number of the aircraft written on its side or the unit number i believe so it is quite easily visible and there is no sort of uh, paint building issues going on over here and if you look at the cockpit we can see that it is pretty well detailed with pilot seats on both the front and the back and the pilot control panel as well but sadly without the joystick i believe in this case it is not there as well but i guess that's okay because fitting that in this size is pretty tough and then if we move to the bottom we can see we have the front landing gear which is obviously painted white and this is a static landing gear so the wheels do not move neither does the front nor does the main landing gear as well which are also painted in white color and there is a slight lack of detail on the back landing gear but uh, I'm guessing that it's the same way on the original plane but we'll have to check that then if you look at the engine attack we can see we have some warning markings going on over there both on this side and that side as well as you can see it is just basically telling the ground users that there is an engine intake so be careful of it then if we move to the top we can see we have a hinge sort of thing going around so both at the front and the back you can see and this is a quite nice detail because these windows individually open up so that the pilots can get in their seats so this is a pretty nice detail that they have added on this is not the case in quite a few models so it's pretty nice to see this in this particular model then we have a red light which is obviously for the aviation industry standards and then we have two antennas poking out of the body which are I think quite well placed given their size and then two antennas at the back as well now if you look at the wings you can see that this is a huge aircraft as compared to normal f-16s and f-18s so let's just compare it with the f-16 real quickly so here's an f-16 to compare it with and you can see that it is quite a small aircraft the f-16 and the ea-6b is absolutely huge in size and if you also look at the land you can see that it is quite a short aircraft in comparison to the ea-6b so yeah, it is quite a big aircraft, almost like a Sukhoi aircraft. So I do have that as well. And if you compare the size of both the aircraft, you can see it's almost, okay, so it is wider in size to that of a Sukhoi aircraft. So, I mean, these are absolutely huge aircraft and to make an aircraft bigger than this is something else. And if you look at that, it is slightly shorter than the Sukhoi aircraft. So still a quite a huge aircraft that they have and if you just look at these two aircraft I mean there is no comparison between them I mean you can see how small it is so back to the main attraction so if you move backwards towards the tail we can see we have the Navy logo there and we also see the engine exhausts which are quite small in this case I mean I have not seen engine exhaust this small in any of the models that I have but they are quite nicely detailed with the slightly metalish outtake vents quite visible from a naked eye and if you look at the bottom we have another antenna going there which is for ground communication I believe and if you look at the bottom over here we can see we have quite a few drop tanks and some missiles only a single missile attached to the aircraft and the rest 
I believe are drop tanks but uh, I'm not sure I have I haven't seen this type of drop tank in a while these are the ones with small propellers in front of their nose which is for power generation or something like that I am not sure and if you look at the wing tips we can see that it is actually printed red and green so this is another aviation standard that all planes have to be complying with and we have normal lights as well I believe these are normal yellow lights I think and then finally if we move to the tail we can see we have a tail hook right underneath and it is quite seated very nicely so it's completely flush with the surface if you look at it from a side and basically at the landing it drops down and catches the cable on the deck and if you look at the tail now it is quite nicely detailed with the serial number and the unit number unit symbol I believe and the rudder slit is cut out quite nicely as well and if you look at the stabilizer as well they are I mean I think they move as a one piece so there are no slits cut out on them but uh, still they look very nice in a flat surface so yeah there it is guys the ES6B Prowler by Hogan Wings model and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe this channel and hit the like button so that way I know this is a good video for you guys so thanks for watching this video guys please like subscribe and share and I will see you all later